Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Latina Plants. My name is Jackie. Today we're going to do a Home Depot and Lowe's shop with me. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's go ahead and head to Home Depot first. So here we are you guys at Home Depot. We're going to take a look at the Proven Winner Leaf Joy line here. They have a bunch of the H2O bowls. Some Caladias, Adansonii, Goven Polthos, and these H2O bowls, bowls go for $19.98. They also had that rattlesnake Calathea in there. And then down below, they had these pots for $19.98. They had the Ficus Audrey. They also had some Birkins and Philodendrons and the ficus benjamina down underneath those they had these small little pots for five five ninety eight i believe and i found this hoya you guys they're calling it sea stones it looks like the ds70 variegated i'm not sure but really cute they didn't have any one that looked kind of healthy to me so i didn't pick that up this time and then here they have the large forms of these alocasias i believe this is the alocasia zebrina if she's called something else let me know down below in the comments you guys they didn't look very healthy to me so i didn't pick any of those up plus i don't know how i feel about them long petios with the long skinny leaves and those baskets up top go for $29.98. And then down here, I found this Philodendron White Wizard. Had this been in really good condition, I probably would have picked it up, you guys. But that was the only one that they had, and it didn't look very healthy. As you can see, these pots go for $19.98. They have the variegated Ficus Benjamina. They also had the Adansonii and a couple other Philodendrons and Ficus on the bottom there. And here panning to the succulent arrangements. This one is for $24.98. And then this little, I guess it's a llama, is $14.98. And then they have these tins for $12.98. Really cute succulent arrangements. Worth the money, you guys. You get a lot of succulents in there. This one here in the ceramic was for $10.98. This says bloom. And then they have these smaller pots down below. These are the Sansevieria varieties for $6.98. I think that's a good deal. You get a nice size plant with a cute little pot to go with it. Then they had the really small succulents here that you can buy for $2.98 and you can make your own succulent arrangements with these. Really cute. These look fresh like they just got these in not too long ago. And then the larger ones right below go for $5.98. They are a really nice size succulent. So they had some variegated jade there in the back if you didn't see that. They also had these cacti, cacti plants that are spray painted and have glued flowers on the top and these go for $5.98 I believe. And they had these terracotta bowls for $29.98. A lot of succulents in those as well. And they had your cuddly cactus still. And over here on the other side, this is the plain view collection by the way. They had one left of these long pots, and then they had these Euphorbias for $24.98. Good price, really large pots of those. Some more cuddly cactus in the back there. Here's another version of a Euphorbia for $24.98. And they had some large succulents in baskets as well. And here, another stand of cacti and succulents. You have your grafted cactus, 
And these, I think, have been out for a little bit now. Some of them don't look that healthy. They look exfoliated. But, yeah, still good deals if you can rescue them. And here they have some more of the Proven Winners line. This one is the Green on Green Variegation by Giz Benjamina. Again, 1998. They had this really big basket of this Calathea. I forget what her name is. I believe those are $29.98. And some more H2O bowls with Golden Pothos. And some more Birkins and Philodendron Benjamina versions on the bottom there. Then I came up to this cart and they have a bunch of plants and arrangements. These go for... They're like in tins, and this one goes for $12.98. It's a Rex Begonia. What variety? I don't know. And then they had this Trevisanthia Nanook, I believe. Again, $12.98 for those, and they also had the spider plant. I don't really like to pop my plants in tins, but... They also had this Dramanthi Trio Star, just so I guess somebody left it there for $9.98. I've been wanting to get one of these, but I'm so afraid of bringing spider mites to my house again because I've just been dealing with um, pests lately. But yeah, um, they also had these really nice big bas baskets for $29.98. They're actually pots. I believe they were ceramic or clay, and they have a good amount of plants in them. And so panning here on this wood table, they have on the bottom a bunch of your Santavarias and cacti. They also have some ficus, Dramanthi trio stars, some more cacti, and the many Santavarias. And so up top here, they have more of the same of what they had last time when I was here. Some of these plants could use some rescuing. They have a lot of snake plants, cacti, um, the Tratoscanthia Nanook. They had this Peperomia variegated. They had Tratoscanthia orbifolia and this Peperomia here. For $9.98. Really good price, you guys, for this 5 inch pot. It looks really healthy and full. And then they had this other full green version with the red stem here of Peperomia. And this Dracaena. And also this Peperomia obtusifolia variegated. And so here I'm panning. They have the Hoya, Pubicalic Splash still, some Sansevierias, some Money Trees, Whale Fins, and up top they still have the Tropical Cacti, Epiphyllums, I believe they're called, something like that, I don't know. And they have a bunch of Golden Pothos um, hanging baskets as well, just a handful of them actually. They're probably going to restock on those soon. And so I wanted to pan on these begonias, you guys. I know there are some fans out there of these Rex begonias, and I thought they had a really nice, good variety of different ones this day, so I wanted to show them up close to you guys. This strawberry begonia does not look very happy, but yeah, she just needs some water probably. And so... Here's another close-up look at this begonia and some peperomias. Look at the coloring of this begonia. I don't know. Every time I see this begonia, I stop and look at it. It's $15.98. I do want to get into the Rex begonias, but I'm not up for that challenge yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future. They had some of these really cute syngoniums to, and some more Stramanthi trio stars. Again, I'm just scared of bringing spider mites to the house. <laughs> Even though spider mites are one of the pests, easier to treat pests that there are. But I feel like um, the Stramanthes, the uh, Marantas, and those kind of plants like that, the plants that are prone to spider mites are also prone to the flat mites as well. And so I wanted to show you the back of this cart because they had some other 
arrangements here. And yeah, they had a begonia cane in there, cane begonia. And then here they had the spicus. Um, it's labeled wrong, so I don't know what the name of this plant is. But I wanted to pull it down and show you the leaves. They're really, really big, but they're super thin leaves. I don't know how this compares to the ficus elastica because the leaves are a lot thinner than the ficus elastica. And then I found this super variegated. It's like sport variegation, I guess. Um, alocasia. I think it's called cuculata or something like that. But you guys, guess what? I didn't pick her up. She's super variegated, but I feel like she had thrips. I did the flashlight test when I was taking her to the checkout, and I saw some little black bugs crawling on the leaves, and I was like, no, thank you. So, sadly, I had to leave her behind. And as you can see here, they have some small pots. These are really cute. Very, very affordi affordable for some Hoyas, the Crimson Queen or Princess, if you don't have her yet. And then over here, they have a bunch of euphorbias and cacti and succulents, coworthias and aloe veras. And here they had some more of the Prudma Winter baskets, the different variety ficus philodendrons, another cuculata, and purple sword, I believe, alocasia there. They didn't look very happy. And here they have some more succulents, you guys. Succulent arrangements, really cute. And going over here, they have some of the calla lily still left, you guys. If you're interested in picking up any of those. They had a bunch of money trees, dracinias, anthuriums, different bacchus. And so now we are at Lowe's, you guys. Look at this really big braided money tree. Super cool. They also had this Monstera Adansonii in these really cute pots. And then they had the Desmbachias in these pots for $27.98. They also had the Wick and Grow pots. These go for $19.98. This is the Baltic Blue. They also had this reddish peperomia in the Wick and Grow. And then they had that like um, Skindapsis Moonlight. And these were really, really full pots. Some of them were trailing as well. Really good prices, you guys. And nice full plant. And they had the Adansonia wide leaf, some pothos, and they also had that like silver stripe. I don't know if it's a monstera or what it was, but they also had these monsteras for $27.98 that were cheaper than the other pots. They had these ficus fiddle leaf figs and also the raven zizis in these pots for $27.98. These ficus look so healthy, and they had your bird of paradise as well. These were not in decorative pots, but they were going for $35.98. And now panning to look at some of these baskets. They didn't look super healthy, so I chose not to give you any close-ups of these baskets. We're just going to look at the other plants. <laughs> the African violets have been here for a while, so they don't look that healthy, but... You know, you can take them home and clean them up and stuff um, and bring them back to life. These go for $5.48. They have beautiful, beautiful flowers. Some of them still have their flowers in intact. Some of their flowers are dried out. You have to be really, really careful when you're picking your African violets, you guys. You have to know what to look for because they do come with mites sometimes. And sometimes they come with thrips. I'm not trying to scare anybody from getting African violets or anything like that. I'm just speaking from experience. Um, yeah, I lost some African violets and I've learned to treat my African violets when I first get them in as well. 
Again, these are going for $5.48. Really affordable, you guys. Worth grabbing one, taking it home, and treating it, and repotting it, and giving it a new home. And down below here, they have some Wick and Grow pots. This is, I believe, the Pepperomia Jenny. And then they also had this Pulse Aurelia. These are really cute starter affordable plants and googly eye cacti. <laughs> they also had some more baskets here and some more of the Wick and Grow. I really didn't look at these too much, you guys, because they had the same plants that they had last time I did a shop with me. Here they had the Alocasia Regal Shield, some Diffenbachias, Dracaenas, Aglionemas, and I don't know what that poisonous plant is called, but it's really poisonous I hear all the time. Some cute little ficus, this philodendron, I don't know if it's like a Prince of Orange or something like that, in the pink pot, and then they had this Anthurium here for, I believe that was $19.98. Or twenty nine ninety eight. I can't see. It's blurry. <laughs> but those pots were really cute. And then they had the spikus. Some more hanging baskets. And as you can see, it's pretty empty right there. They have a bunch of the mini orchids as well as the anthuriums. They had the red ones. I was looking for the chocolate ones. I have been looking for the chocolate ones, but I really want a really full, healthy chocolate one. I just feel like all the chocolate ones um, don't look as healthy as the red ones for some reason. And yeah, I'm still on the hunt for one of those. And look at this allocation, you guys. She was beautiful. I didn't like the pot that she was in, though. But my phone's about to die, you guys, so we're just going to go ahead and end this video here. And I'll check you guys out at the house, and I'll show you what I picked up. Hey guys, so I'm back from Home Depot and Lowe's. I hope you enjoyed that shop with me. And now I want to share what I picked up from Lowe's. I didn't pick anything up from Home Depot, but I'm going to share what I picked up from Lowe's. First plant I want to share is this one here. It's an alocasia and it was $13.98. Now, I don't know if this is an alocasia, the Bambino or the Amazonica because it just says alocasia on here. And I really think the pot is super cute. Hopefully you can see it there. It's like a tan speckly pot with arches that look like rainbows. Really cute. And so, yeah, I thought this was a good price, $14.98 or $13.98 for this plant with the pot. And it looks like I have two plants in there and she has some corms that look like they are coming out of the top. The next one I picked up is this one here from Lowe's again in this self-watering pot from Live Trends. And this one was $14.98. And I believe I don't have this alocasia She's really cute. She resembles the silver dragon that I have, but she has less silveriness on the leaves and her leaves seem to be a lot darker. And she does have some veining, purple veining on the back, but her stems are darker than the stems on my silver dragon. So I don't think this is the silver dragon. I think this might just be the Alocasia Dragon Scale. I'm not sure, but let me know down below which variety of Alocasia Dragon you think this is. In the comments, please. I would appreciate that. 
And so, yeah, she came in this self-watering pot, $14.98 again. And it looks like it's one plant in here, but I do see two shoots coming up. And then it's got this, like, fake moss on top, which we'll get rid of. And we're going to, I'm going to take these plants out of their substrate. We're going to clean the leaves and repot them. Thank you. 